Welcome to Virtually Embedded Librarians. The objective of this short screencast is to provide the viewer with a few ideas on why and how to embed a librarian in a um, learning management system for a class taught online. As you start to create your online class, consider embedding a librarian in some way in your online class. Here are a few reasons why a professor might want to include or embed a librarian in an online class, whether hybrid or taught fully online. Research shows that students are overwhelmed with too much information. For instance, how do you decide where you should go to get the information you need for a particular class project on this page? The embedded librarian can help ameliorate the anxiety students might feel when faced with too much information by providing instruction at the point of need. Here's a subject guide for a microeconomics class that provides instruction on how to select a database and how to use the database effectively. Also on this tab, Site Sources, uh, it teaches the student how to use information ethically talks about plagiarism and how to cite your sources. What is an, an embedded librarian? Think embedded journalist. It's any librarian who takes an active role inside the online course management system classroom, be it in complete, completely online or in hybrid classes. The levels of service can range from a provision of universal links to external web pages or subject guides or offerings of highly interactive content, mass communication communication and one-on-one -on -one interactions. The ultimate purpose for an embedded librarian is to help the students become self-sufficient critical thinkers who can locate, analyze, evaluate, and use resources. The next several slides suggest a f just a few ways to embed a librarian. One is have the requisite liaison librarian create a screencast and embed the screencast in an online class. Here's an example of that in a class taught by David Denton in School of Education. Here are the screencasts that I created, and here he's also created a self-assessment based upon these screencasts about library resources and how to use them. Another option is to add the requisite liaison librarian as a TA or instructor, and then create a discussion format titled Library Questions, where the students can post questions. Here's an example of that in a uh, graduate level class. Here's the library module, or the library forum here, library questions, and the students post questions, and then I have gone into this and answered the questions and helped them with their research. One more option is to, again, add the requisite li liaison librarian as TA or instructor, and have them create a week-long module with exercises. Um, and here is an example of that in a first-level research methods class for graduate students in the School of Education. Here are two screencasts, and I have a, an identifying effective keywords exercise and identifying subject term. And then the students had to post in a discussion forum. Summing up, here are a few best practices that you may want to consider if you do this is do some co-planning with a librarian, share class assignments in the syllabi with the librarian, and really important is for the faculty person should place a lot of value on the students using the librarian. Depending on the level of embeddedness, there are more best practices that might be considered. If you have further questions about this, feel free to contact me. You see my information on the screen. Also, Naradzu Mavudu, a professor in the School of Education, can speak to direct experience with an embedded librarian in a graduate level class. I wish you well.